All right, welcome to Dusty Gamers. <laughs> I'm going to try something else new out. What are you going to try out? Please like and subscribe to our videos if you want to see more. No, we were going to say it at the beginning because we never remember to say that. <laughs> we're really desperate for clicks. Nah, not that desperate. I just want to get in the habit of actually saying it. So I had I had a file set up where it, this was all like all the names were changed because you can change all the names. Oh yeah. But I fucked it up. Apparently. Carol. Uh, so this game, I. You might think this is odd, because it's like, we have never talked about this game. Um, I kept wondering why this game was kind of left off of a, like, Nintendo list and stuff. Like, it seems to me like it would be an obvious game to put on the NES Classic, Super Nintendo Classic. Because it's one of the rare, god damn it, one of the rare, like, well, not really rare, but, like, it's a Nintendo-made game that was only for the Super Nintendo. Like, mm -hmm. you know only four up in the right corner of the cool box art. Yeah. I don't know why I fucking did that so bad. Um, so what happened is uh, this game is made by DMA Design and, and they're literally the next game they released mm -hmm. was uh, the original Grand Theft Auto to let you know oh, who this really? is. Um, what happened is Pixar sued them for their unicycle looking too much like their animated short. And this is like oh. pretty amazing Pixar. So the yeah. original 300,000 copies of this game were the only ones released. They like, uh, they were told just to stop making them. And what happened was, is I didn't know any of this and I kept wondering in the back of my mind, was this game as good as I remember? Am I the only one who thought this game was any good? Because it just kept dis it never showed up any like it wasn't really well known, right? And I always because the gameplay in it is very original for its time. What it is is uh your your speed's based on doing tricks. So if I land this trick, I'm faster than this guy because he didn't land a trick. Right. Basically how it works. So what happens is the oh, game. Is that why he took off past you at one point? The the gameplay is based on your ability to sneak in more tricks than the other guy on these crazy tracks. So it's very similar to kind of like to Skate. Yes, but here's the thing. This came out before Tony Hawk and stuff existed. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, it's crazy ass ahead of its time. Like, the idea of, you know, sneak in tricks, because even like games like Burnout use the same idea, like drive crazier, you know, get more speed. Right. Um, and it's a great gameplay idea way ahead of its time but uh Pixar actually won a lawsuit against uh, I mean it's exactly like it I mean it's not yeah even... but it it's like animated well I made Blake watch the uh, animated show yeah we watched it right as well, well I didn't tell him why <laughs> I just like watched this sad animated short it's about a unicycle uh for like a clown oh he first off he's in a shop and he's and in he's a 50% off sale in a bicycle shop He's in a bicycle shop. He's in the clearance corner because nobody's buying him. And he's dreaming of being a clown's unicycle. But not just being the, the, the clown's unicycle for the show, but actually doing juggling himself. It's called Red's Dream. It's pretty interesting. You should watch it. Uh, we'll link it. Yeah, for sure. But uh, So I kept wondering, like, I was like, this seems like a really obvious and cheap game for Nintendo to add, but they don't, they don't have the rights to it. <laughs> And then now Disney owns Pixar. You can't get in on that sort right. of Disney money. So this game's just sort of forgotten about. Uh, the funny thing is, when I started playing it, I kind of realized it was like... I was like, this really feels like it would have been an arcade game if it was released today. Like, it doesn't have, like, the Nintendo level of polish or depth. I uh, actually hate the, like, fucking music in it. That's... Like, it, it feels like a okay. like an indie game released for the Super Nintendo. The problem is, games released on the Super Nintendo are still going to be, like... 70 bucks. So did you rent this game or something? When How I, did you get a hold of it? When I... Uh, yeah, I originally... I originally rented it. I remember thinking... Like, I didn't... Wasn't really sold on it at first. Until I realized, like, the mechanics in it. Right. Which I, I'm really doing... It's really hard to explain and play at the same time. 
I was gonna have us play two player, but that's like how ridiculous the game mechanics are. <laughs> but I was like, it's gonna take me forever just to explain, like the basics of even just jumping and kind of like doing a loop. Right. Feel, it, it's really, really gamer eccentric. Um, you use uh, like your left and right bummers to spin. Yeah, I've kind of been watching you a little bit. And then uh, you have a jump button, and you have a twist button. Right. And if, if you don't land your trick before you hit the ground, what happens is you you basically you e bell on the trick. Right. Like it slows you down instead of giving it to you. I'm playing really bad. I thought I'd make it through. Why don't this. you go to another track? Oh, I, I can make it through this. It's just you, it's something you have to really concentrate on. It's the only reason. I was just gonna say is like you play this track a few times, you just skip on to the next one. Because uh, I can beat this track if I literally just actually pay attention to what I'm doing. It's just a matter of actually paying attention. It's hard to do while talking. Right. Any other track I'm going to do is going to have the same problem. Um, it's really weird. It gives you this really uh, small amount of screen to look at. Uh -huh. um, so, like, you don't... You have, like, a weird sense of speed from the uh, textures and stuff like that. Uh, fucking shit. Uh, most of the game comes through uh, memorizing what's coming up ahead and knowing when you can sneak a trick in. I'm not sure if that helped or not since I kind of build on it. Um, a lot of the design is really tight to where if you just hold like the right bumper, you'll make it through the like turn just in time. Right. Or if you just, like you can, uh, you can kind of move buffer stuff. It's mm -hmm. so, like you can hold the twist and then you have to just have to make sure you let go of it before you land so that you can land that. Oh yeah. But like right now I'm already holding the left bumper and then right now I'm already holding the right bumper, and then it'll just kind of land it. You just got to make sure you let off stuff before you land so you don't fuck them up. Wow. I actually lost between, like, a, a really short amount of time the last time I played this, like, like the point oh two. <laughs> Not many. That That's something that you don't see very often anymore, is games actually calling you loser. Yeah. It usually now just says, this is the person that won. Uh, I hate those little turns. Um, I like the game lets you have like a, a whole team full of save files. So like yeah. if you had like, if you set this up in like a place where you had like a group of players, yeah. everybody could have their own racer, keep their own times and you could, uh, it's almost like arcade setup where like you could, right. you could track who has the best time in each of the tracks. Right. Um, it has... I'm not sure how many, but it's a lot of save files you can go through. Was it all the people? That yeah, all the people had their own. They're all tracked separately. So when you get to the end of the race and it tells you, like, the record time for the race, right? it'll actually show who beat you. And, you know, they, they can name their own files and stuff. So, like, awesome. say you're in a large family, you can have, like, oh, Amy's way better than me and Johnny sucks. <laughs> um, it's got the... Like weird, goofy rock and roll racing fucking like music. I don't understand how he keeps getting you ahead of you there. Like he's dropping through. I don't know. Um, he might have a shortcut that I'm not paying attention to. So honestly, I'm only in like the beginning of the game. What when it gets really crazy, crazy, crazy is uh trying to like basically figure out how to get tricks into every little loop of the game. Right, right. Um, I'm on like this should be like. Baby level League, two, yeah. Baby League. I'm in like this, like the first level of Mario that you shouldn't be losing. Um, every level of Mario. Yeah. Well, no, I was like, I was thinking like Mario Kart. Mario Kart has speeds like. Yeah, yeah. Fifty CC. Sh you shouldn't be losing. Somebody out there is like, I lose every time. Well, you deserve to lose. Cause you're a terrible person. But yeah, like this is like a like a, just like a half bowl. And it tells you how many tricks you need on the bottom. Yeah, you're about to hit it. I feel like this is set up harder than when I normally play it. Because normally I only need like 90 tricks. Maybe I like accidentally picked the given harder difficulty. Anyways. Uh, this feels easier than the uh, other like mode. Oh yeah, the half. The, it gets crazier. Um, but yeah, that's also, it's momentum based, so like, you land a trick, it kicks you up higher. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The half pipe. But that's a, that right there is a great mode for multiplayer. 
because you know it kind of balances out your difficulty the other person could catch up at any time right hit like a good trick this actually I probably lose because I'm thinking of it now but uh this has been one of the tracks I've had the least amount of trouble on right ah uh, there's one of these one of these you kind of bounce when you land and then it gives puts you in like another roll <laughs> I think I put myself on a harder difficulty because you can hear the other guy doing like a lot of tricks yeah <coughs> he was doing a bunch of flips and stuff right off the bat like yeah that's pretty funny if I accidentally screwed myself up made it where I can't get through the damn it I assumed I would make it through like one set of courses <laughs> before the video was up I've always found it funny that you that you really enjoy games like this and like hate Donkey Kong. <laughs> well, this game lets you express yourself, man. Your your style is your style. Donkey Kong's really rigid in how you play. There's no exploration. It wants you to hit the barrel, hit the barrel, hit the banana, hit the barrel like perfectly every fucking spot. If you don't, you get punished. I wouldn't say Donkey Kong punishes. Donkey Kong because... punishes you for not playing it out at once if you play. But you like Mario. Mario's Mario even does worse. it. Mario has exploration, has different paths you can take. You can uh, uh, find new areas based on those paths. You can go through the level with Yoshi, without Yoshi. You can have Diddy Kong. You can get the Rhino. It's all. It's all rigid. What I'm saying though is you pick them up in the game. Like yeah, you true. either find them or you don't find them. You fly through a level or you don't fly through a level. Come on, motherfucker. I swear to God, this is harder than it was yesterday. This looks like a hard difficulty. I just feel like he's doing more tricks than he normally does. Like normally I just do a few tricks and I'm I'm okay to beat him. I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually holding the controller different right now because the, the jump system's so different. You're holding it like you have to that, make sure you get like a height. Thing. God damn, why am I losing so bad? I'm convinced I'm on a harder difficulty now. Go back. Yes, yeah, silver silver difficulty. Oh, is it maybe because I uh, I played the same league again? Probably. Yeah, see how it's like got a bronze there. I think I did. God damn. Pick another name. Let's see, check it out. See, I, I picked Mike, and Mike's got a bronze on there already. Yeah. I think that's what I did. I screwed myself up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, bronze. You're playing the hard difficulty. I'm so into the game. I didn't talk about any of the shit I wanted to talk about. So Pixar sued him. This used to be uh, DMA Design, who who was going to make another game for Nintendo. And they just not they didn't get around to it. It should have came out between this and uh, uh, Grand, Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto. I think it came out right after Grand Theft Auto on another system not licensed by Nintendo. But uh, their next game that actually made it out was the original Grand Theft Auto. What was the other game? I don't know. Some stupid game that's not nearly as popular as Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Um, so then did they sell the licensing right to Grand Theft Auto for the game? or? What are you talking about? Or to Sorry, to... Um, fuck, who made... Are you talking about Rockstar? Rockstar, yeah. Rockstar is a publisher. Oh, okay. DMA that's... Design is... Uh, well, I mean, I, I think DMA Design became Rockstar, but... Gotcha. Yeah. Um, I think it's Rockstar. Uh, DMA Design made it. I'm not sure if they changed their name to Rockstar if they got bought out by Rockstar. I didn't look that up. They are definitely Rockstar by the time Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, though. Yeah. I feel like Rock Grand no because Midnight Club was no Midnight Club was after Rock after Grand Theft Auto. Uh, yeah, Midnight Club's also Rockstar. Yeah, no, I know that because I played the shit out of Midnight Club. The third one was really good. Yeah, that's the, the online place was really fun on it. I never. I liked it because it had a nice because uh, it was like racing and city at night. 
You don't get that a lot in video you, games. And you didn't have to. You didn't have to necessarily race even. You could just drive. Mid- Midnight the city. Club was uh, the one that had the annoying habit of where you follow people around because you couldn't figure out where you're going until you beat, until you got close to the race, to oh, the finish yeah. line because it was like racing through these cities. Yeah. So it was like uh, the best way to race these races is just follow everybody until you get close. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me and my brother and our friends, we'd always we had a habit of just playing tag. Uh huh. With our cars, like you yeah. tie each other and drive off, and that was actually the most. And then jumping uh, over the. Well, I played it online the on Xbox. The I think the third one. Mm-hmm. I remember the whole idea is they were showing off where you could glitch so that was like hey, you can you can get up on top of this building follow me and that's all they were doing was basically follow following people around yeah <laughs> um and, I mean we played the fuck out of Grand Theft Auto so, uh, 3 so part, part of this video was that Pixar sucks secretly and I wanted to I was going to bring up a few other things that they do that, that people 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 Love Pixar. Pixar is amazing. I love but, Pixar too. But they've so. they secretly managed to come up with small ways of sucking, like uh, the way Finding a Nemo caused hundreds and hundreds of kids to buy them stupid fucking fish to the point where like when Finding Nemo two came out, they're like, please don't go buy these fish. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I don't think that that's not necessarily a Pixar problem. It's kind of Pixar's fault though. <laughs> I mean, it was a movie about. Being a better, I mean, that's like the kind of was not what the movie was about, though. And then, uh, shit, maybe forgot the next thing Pixar does. Oh, when uh, so when uh, Toy Story came out, uh huh. As a video gamer who knew about computer graphics and stuff, I was really excited for it. Uh huh. Like really, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a computer graphic fucking uh, movie. Uh-huh. Can't wait to see this. It's gonna be awesome. And I, like, I actually got in a fight because I wanted to go see it. My grandparents were like, oh, I'm going to see your stupid movie. Fine. And then I hated it. Like, I really didn't like the original Toy Story. Oh, I fucking love the original Toy Story. Like, I found it was, like, really dry and boring. It just wasn't, like, my type of movie. You're I mean, it came out because I was, like, 14. <laughs> I was already, like, 14. It had, like, no bite to it. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't nearly, I didn't think it was nearly as funny as stuff like Aladdin. Oh, I think it's way and then, funnier than Aladdin. And then I just... I had no bite to it. I mean, I'm, I think like the next year probably is like when I was watching Natural Born Killers, if you know what I mean? I mean, I bet it came out in 93. I'm I mean, it's 93 or 92. It's one of the darker kids movies. Not the original. The original's pretty boring. The original's the one where they, they tie in, where they like attack Andy. Oh, or not okay. Andy. Anyway, so I, I <laughs> the, this isn't the reason Pixar sucks. I don't, I don't hate Pixar because I didn't like the original Toy Story. So, Oh, uh, a joke we often say a lot is the claw thing. Yeah. You know, the claw. Yeah. And I recently found out a lot about those claw machines that pisses me off. <laughs> and they've sort of made a comeback. Uh, not really to Pixar's fault, but they made a comeback after that movie. So. There's. Oh, God, this one sucks. You really can't do a lot of tricks in this one to catch up. Because these fucking, if you bork those things, you're screwed. Uh, so those claw machines are are not fair video games. They're not set up to be fair. They have uh, an algorithm built into them that gives them uh, like a percentage of time that they're, they'll actually give you full strength for grabbing stuff. So my, you think they're complete games of skill, but they're really no different than a slot machine. Like you think, you know, you know maybe the next time I use this claw machine, I'll be able to grab this bear because I was pretty close last time. But what you don't understand is that the machine itself's got an algorithm built into it to where one in 20 times it'll actually grab very well on stuff. It's based on how much profit the, uh, the like a mathematical equation in the machine based on the, the price of the items in the machine. Like the, the owners of the games punch all that shit in. Are you with me? No, I, 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 I unbelievably disagree with what you're saying. No, no, I, this is fact. This is literally fact. I have, there's a there's an algorithm in the machine. The, the the claw itself has a amount that it'll grip, right? Right. And it won't always grip the amount that you need. They literally have. I've watched my dad win. They literally plug it into the the money into the machine. The machines are programmed. 
they have a place you program mm-hmm. them to where they will like one in 20 times or one in 40 times will actually grab that amount you can also you can there's certain ways you can win claw machines every single time though I've watched people do it. I if, know people that If the, the machine's it. not programmed to be winnable, they aren't winnable. It's also by but you can you look at you can go on YouTube right now and see people who are literally okay. they, yeah, I've they, also, they say like I can beat these call machines. They show you exactly why this stuff is. It's programmed into the machines to not be in your favor. I I I literally know people that have won they, thousands of they, dollars. That's of awesome. They've learned how to. To win with the terrible claw. That's what I'm saying. Is the, the, I'm saying the machine is, itself is programmed to not cash out the average person. Uh, you said there was no skill involved. That's what I'm saying. Is you're not it, it, it's, it's not right. fair. No, okay. yeah, I'll agree there's with that. there's skill involved in unfairness. Right. Wait, no, yeah, that's all I it's, was saying. It's, it's the the rules that it's giving you for a claw machine. Yeah. Are it's not telling the average consumer, hey. We also program this to be an uneven experience. Every once in a while, the claw is going to work better because okay, we programmed okay. it into the oh, game. Okay, okay. That's an unfair. It'd be like if like we we're like playing Monopoly and like they're like every once in a while one of you guys is only going to get half the money because we want to make sure it's fair. Fair enough, but you my my only problem was the fact that you said there's no skill involved. When oh, there, it's it's skill like poker skill. There's. You'd still, there's still roulette based on it. It's, right, 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 right. You, you can fair enough. get a claw machine like program that be more fair than others. It's they, they literally give you like a book when you, you set the machines up. You don't right, know. What, right, right. You also don't know what the rules are when you play that game. You don't know how the machine's set. Well, the, you can actually the, the people that are good at because my dad was one of those people that are really good at it. like disturbingly good at it. You can actually tell like when you put the coins in it, you can tell when. The claw goes like that. They could tell. Oh, I can't win this. And then, and the, and the other thing is, they've uh, they set the algorithm to where you can't. It's not like every ten bucks is going to be the payoff grab. Right. It's still random based on that. Right. Right. Um. So like people think it's not like a slot. I mean, slot machines aren't supposed to do that either, where they pay out of. No, it's a bingo thing. You yeah. can The slot machines actually show you the. Like when. I just the thing with slot machines is people people know this mechanic. The average kid when they walk up to call machine, or the average <coughs> consumer when they walk up to call machine, doesn't know there's an algorithm that's still dictating your chances of winning, which right. is not to me it's completely unfair. I I that's the problem I have with the claw machines. I mean, it also is it's the the rules of the claw machine are not one of, one of the things. Too not they're not. It's it's a an openness with what's going on. One of the things with that's claw what machines, makes them scammy. One of the things about claw machines too is, that matters is how they're packed. They can pack them where basically it's impossible to win, right? And stuff like that. There's a lot of well, yeah, uh, the the basic they're supposed to type in like they're supposed to type in like profit margins and stuff, right? Right. Um, like it's it's like a whole money thing in there, like. How much are the items worth the machine? How often do you want it to pay off? Right. Um, basically, it's a bean counter system of. Uh, it's the same as like video game loot boxes. Like they, they want they want it to pay out so many times so that you keep putting money in. Right. Right. It and has they, to pay off every once in a while. Right. No one's gonna ever play it. All right. Well, that was Uniracers. <laughs> I think I find did I finally beat that fucking yeah that horrible yay. Uh, so this game, even though there's only 300,000 copies made or something, mm-hmm. and it's, you know, got that whole story about... They look the, like gun shells. The lawsuit, yeah. Winner, winner, winner. <laughs> They're bronze medals. Um, it's still, you can get one in a box for less than it costs new. Like, it's a pretty cheap game. I actually have a crazy story about guns. I'll tell you later. Yeah, it feels like a... feels like a fucking... Uh, Wario Paint. Oh, I gotta play this. Oh, it feels like an arcade game made for Super Nintendo. <laughs> it doesn't really... It doesn't feel like a full-price game. Uh, DMA Design was all about uh, trying to take risk with design when they were making games. This doesn't have anything to do with Nintendo. What are you talking about? Oh, this. I, well, that's just a random name. Um, so they... 
Like, uh, even their original, like, Grand Theft Auto games were very, like, ahead of their time on stuff that they did. Took a lot of risk. Right. Uh, they made a ping pong game, which was crazy. As Rockstar, but not as the... Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Oh, wow. I, I actually... This... I remember this being frustrating. You have to know how to get over that hump. And know it's coming. Yeah. I think it's called Wario Paint because there's paint splotches on it. This game's really great in the weirdest way. But, yeah. I remember being surprised with how good it was when I originally played it. Oh, I thought it, I thought the checker flagman I was done. <laughs> yeah, I think it, he finished. It's because he finished the strobing checker flag burning into your eye. Well, guys, next time 